Welcome back to the channel. Right. Today is Monday the 16th of October. Um, not expecting any deliveries from Diego Stini. But today, this turned up. And even though it's only held flimsily together by sellotape, I could see Diego Stini in there. So, it's something to do with him. Obviously, it's not the normal vinyls. It looks like it's been thrown about the yard. Probably seen my videos. That certainly looks like a, a kick or a punch dig. And they've held it together with sellotape. So, no spence expared. If you have a look, see what's inside. We've been here many times, guys, haven't we? Sellotape everywhere. You know what's behind it, didn't you? You absolutely know. Yes. I haven't seen it yet, but I know it's in there. Why so early, though? Why so early? And why this big baggy box? Okay. Have a little look. I cannot understand the packaging, but I have... <laughs> Revolver finally on vinyl and anthology volume two. This is my favourite Beatles here, as you all know. But um, yeah, strange way of packaging them this month, the Agostini. Did you get one of the children to do it? Wow, look, guys. Revolver. Oh, I've got to do a vinyl first play ASAP. Itching to play this. So, and obviously, part two in the anthology. Now, I'm guessing these are not going in the box now. These, uh, this is full, so we're just going to have to sort of stack them next to it until they send me the second vinyl case and here's a little booklet that I pulled out first revolver sessions oh I can't wait to play this it's nice An anthology so this picks up obviously where the last one left off Oh, it starts off with Real Love, the John song, with them. And down, you've got Hide Your Love, right? Yeah. Sort of starts with the Help album, really. Goes through um, Rubber Soul, uh, Revolver, and Sergeant Pepper, and Magical Mystery Tour. So, nice picture. So, now... I have 15, well actually, technically I have, they've sent me, you know, doubles, but 15, 15 Beatle albums on vinyl, I'll oh, behave, but that threw me, you can understand why, really, really, really weird, just set the tapes up, 
not like they normally are. I mean, normally they're in that really tight packaging, really secure and strong, but they look fine, so I ain't gonna moan. But they're early. You reckon they're watching these videos? Well, if they are, apart from the packaging, I am delighted, Diego Stini. Because I've got Revolver on vinyl at last. And it looks brilliant. Obviously, everyone's seen the cover loads of times. But um, uh, Klaus Vorman. But wow, to have it on record is simply wonderful. Oh, I'm over the moon. Over the moon. See, I bet they're early. The packaging was odd. But they're, they're fine. They're all right. Now, I kind of expected um, a gift. Um, did they send me one last time? I think they did, actually. I think it was the, the picture frame over there. So maybe I'm not due a free gift yet. I mean, there's still quite a lot of free gifts to go, if I recall. There was a rucksack... Uh, a Beatles mug, which is, when I saw the box, I thought, ah, as you can see from the video, I was over the moon, I'd got Revolver, I'd got Anthology Volume 2, but I did think the packaging was weird, and why, because when I looked at the paperwork that come with it afterwards, it clearly says on there, two records, two magazines, and a mug, Where's me Beatles mug? Your mugs. Every month it has to be some drama. What's up with ya? It fucking ain't hard. I knew that box was... Why would you put a Beatles mug in with a load of records in packaging like that with no padding? Do you not think a mug rolling around in there might get broke? Or do you reckon it might break one of the records? Weird, weird, weird. Honestly, I wasn't even joking when I said about a little kid packaging it for you. The seller, I could literally see it was Diego Stini through the box. It was all loose and flappy. Why? We're paying enough for this collection. Fucking joke, I tell you. Every month I go through this same old drama. Strike me, it's only a Beatles mug. Oh, no. But this is like me seventh or eighth rant about this company. And if I'd have actually started doing videos when they first started pissing me off, I'd be into double numbers by now. So now I've got to go through the lovely experience that we've all grown to really enjoy phoning them up. And hopefully they'll rectify it if they can understand what I'm saying. Do you know what? I was in a really good mood. And I am. I am. I've got Revolver. I've got Anthology 2. Lovely. But it would have been nice to be listening to them, drinking a cup of coffee, at me new Beatles mug. Uh, anyway, anyway. What's the point? There's no point in moaning, strike me. Nothing gets done. They, I'll give them one thing. They're consistent. I'll give them that. I've got complete and utter faith in their shitness. Truly, truly amazing. Different level. Um, I've got to go through the drama now of phoning them. Oh, I've got to go through the drama of phoning them. It, honestly, it ain't fun. Can you email them? Where is it and all? There's no sign of a mug in there at all. That'd have been just nice and all, but still I would have questioned the packaging, definitely. To my mind, the if the mug's going to be in a big box like that with two vinyls, the vinyls needs to be in a cardboard thing protecting them, really. And I would somehow sellotape, seeing as you had some, the mug, hopefully in its own box, to the inside of the box, and then put some padding in there. Someone took a shortcut to thinking, as always, with this. Ah! Oh, well. Anyway, 
sorry about the sound off, guys, but I got downstairs and I was looking at the paperwork before I put it with all the others, and then I had a closer look and I thought, hang on a minute, the Beatles mug should have been in there. And I was all chuffed and all. They literally take the jam out of your donut. Tossers. Never again. But I am going to see this through. 15 now. I forgot I'm doing a sentence. <laughs> right. Have yourselves a great week, people. I'll be back with another ramble real soon.